Hello and welcome to my team career mode. We are here for the Formula One Pirelli Grand Prix Modell Made in Italy E Del Emilia Rogmer. I think I nailed that. We are here for the Imola Grand Prix for round two of the my team career mode. If you have missed round one and what we are doing in this career mode, then go click the card annotation in the top right hand corner of your screens up there. But to round it up, basically, we are in the my team career mode. Our team is called Big Guns Racing and uh, we are right at the back of the grid. My teammate is Callum Eilot for this series, and uh, we, yeah, we're here for round two. We are at Imola, the first time we're taking on this track in a career mode, and we are just looking through the grid right now. Of course, don't expect to see my name popping up anytime soon. Not only am I terrible at qualifying, but the car is just an absolute boat right now. I think, actually, we crashed in the uh, practice session as well, so this is a very tricky circuit we did manage to out qualify our teammate but look at that right at the back of the grid with no pace whatsoever the strategy though for today looking like we're going to be going for the alternate alternative strat starting on the medium tires going on to the softs no real change it doesn't look like in terms of weather looks like it's staying exactly the same so nothing that we have to worry about uh there but lining up on the grid now for the race here in Imola in our beautiful black and yellow car. As the lights are coming on, we go to four, five red lights here in Imola. And it is lights out and away we go. And because we are starting on the medium tyres, we get off to a god awful start. Just jump by Calamila all the way down towards turn one. Have absolutely no pace whatsoever on these tyres. But hopefully... The strategy is going to come back to us later on in the race as we get through turn one. Negotiate turn one and turn two very nicely. Actually get a switch back on Mazepin. So not only are we terrible in this car and on these tyres, but somehow we actually nearly go for an overtake on Mazepin. We actually get the job done. So uh, Mazepin, hold your head in shame there as we go into this next hairpin. We try to go for a, a sort of wider entry line there to maybe get a better exit, but unfortunately... It just wasn't possible. These guys are just so quick at this early stage of the race. And I seem to have noticed that quite a bit in the early stages of these My Team career races. We've actually got a yellow flag at the moment. Uh, doesn't look like anybody. No, we've got a Ferrari pulling off over to the left-hand side. Charles Leclerc is already out of this race as uh, Callum Eilot very sneakily overtakes my, um, Mick Schumacher, not Michael Schumacher, as Mazepin has a little look on myself in towards the chicane but can't quite get the job done. We're cutting ahead to the end of... Uh, Lap one, start of lap two. Now going down in towards turn one. Eilot and Schumacher battling once again. We're going to see if we can maybe get a cheeky opportunistic move on Schumacher. Can't quite do it there. Eilot did a fantastic job to go side by side with Schumacher. Throw him off, throw him on a wider line. But we just weren't close enough, weren't quick enough to really optimise what he was doing. As we cut it now to lap four, going through the chicane. Taking it nice and cautiously through there. And uh, we've uh, a few drivers have come into the pits at this stage. We're now up into 18th position. We've got Alonso, we've got Sonoda behind us. I think they might have pitted very early on the opening lap because of that uh, that DNF from Charles Leclerc. I feel like he maybe caused those guys to cause a little bit of damage. Science as well in the pits very, very early in this race. That's really going to hurt their strategy, but they could maybe go for two sets of mediums. Um, I think they were already on a two-stopper. I was trying to go for that one as we just lose the back end ever so slightly through that corner. They're very lucky to regain control as Max Verstappen comes into the pit lane and we are ahead of a Red Bull. Who would have thought it? Verstappen, of course, though, has already got past us. That was going to be inevitable. So much quicker in that Red Bull compared to this dog of a car. It is so bad. And a track like Imola, where you're loose all over the place, you need a car that's stable but also quick. It's not good around here. We are really struggling. But we are actually up into P5 at the moment because we are doing this alternate strategy. Vettel doing a fantastic job as well. He's just overtaken us as uh, Lando Norris also goes around the outside of us in towards turn one. Locks up there. We're not really too worried about fighting these guys at the moment. You can tell our car is really loose on the rear at the moment. We don't want to lose time. We want to be in the fight at the end of the race and maybe try and pick up uh, a P12, P13 to try and leapfrog the likes of the Williams and the Alfa Romeos. That is our goal, to try and finish ahead of those guys in the Constructors' standings. As I've got Pierre Gassi 
He's all over the back of me right now as we go in towards this chicane. Can't quite get the job there, but look at how loose the car is through the chicane. Just crabbing where it just goes sideways through corners. Scrubbing off so much speed on the tyres as Gassi goes around the outside. We tried to go up the inside. Not really too sure why I did that. I probably should have just backed off there and uh, got the DRS from Gasly to help me pull me along. But I suppose I was coming into pits anyway. So here we go into the pit stop. Uh, lap 17. Very early in this race, and we're actually, I think, going to go for a set of hard tyres now uh, till the end, because this is quite an early pit stop. It did look like we were going to go from mediums to softs, but I think we've changed our, our mind, and uh, yes. No, we are going softs. Okay. I, I have no idea what I'm doing on this strategy right now then. I'm on the soft tyres, and uh, I guess we're going to be making another pit stop in this race later on. Maybe to mediums, maybe to softs. Who knows at this point? I think we are just making it up as we go along. But we've come out of the pit stop. We're in P17. We're still ahead of Fernando Alonso. Now, he is on the hard tyres. He's going to be going very, very deep into this race. But I'm not too sure whether he's going to need to take another pit stop as we lose the back end ever so slightly through mineral aqua corner, aqua mineral water, mineral water corner. That's what it's known on from now on. And uh, Alonso actually jumps me from that. But we come back at him. On lap 19, we go round the outside through turn one on the outside of turn two. We need to be late on the brakes, which we do slingshot it right around the outside. Beautiful move on Fernando Alonso, really struggling on those hard tyres. But the more that we battle, the more time we're going to lose to everybody else. We do not want Alonso sticking his nose up anywhere that he should not. So hopefully Alonso can play ball, get me later on on a DRS straight, and we can try not to lose so much time to the others because we're still aiming. For that, oh, Alonso just goes for an absolute send there. And we get a corner cutting warning. We actually have to give that back the position, which also gives back the position to Kimi Raikkonen. But that was an audacious send from Fernando Alonso. And uh, thankfully, there was no damage caused between the two of us. As Raikkonen and Alonso, so close. The old boys going wheel to wheel. We're going to follow it, Raikkonen around the outside. We're going to actually go three wide. Get squeezed right up against the wall there on the right-hand side. Get a slight warning with Kimi Raikkonen. Alonso not giving me any room on the outside of turn one. And we have to settle now for P16. Alonso was quicker than us, though, so we're not too worried about that. Raikkonen also quicker. We're also, we are really enjoying these battles with the back markers. I say back markers. We are also a back marker but really enjoying these battles at the back here but it is hurting our race we don't need to be doing this as we're very late on the brakes here on lap 21 nearly going to the back of Kimi Raikkonen and I think that's Raikkonen gone we can wave goodbye to the Alfa Romeo as we're now here on lap 22 we're actually getting lapped here in this race as there goes Lewis Hamilton we're gonna let him through nice and easily you know the two Brits working together not too sure who is coming up behind me now, um, but we did let them through as well. So here we are on lap uh, 23. Currently in 17th position at the moment. I've got Giovinazzi going for an overtake on me. I'm not too worried about this. I'm going to get the DRS back on him down the start, finish straight. And this is a way that we can maybe work together. Because we didn't lose any time from doing that with Giovinazzi as we get a 9. No, we don't. We get a terrible exit. And that is us into the wall and out of this race. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I had to come and take a curse myself there, didn't I? I had to say, that's a good exit off the corner. Let's watch what happened. Let's watch a replay of that. Following Giovinazzi, we had it all worked out. Get the DRS, get him back down the straight. But just this corner, just that slippery AstroTurf on the exit of the corner. The car really unstable on the rear. And that is going to be a lot of expenses coming my way as the team manager. Our first DNF of the season. It's only the second race. And we have already got a DNF in the My Team career mode. But that is going to round out this race here in Imola. Unfortunately, it was a disappointing one. But we go again in Portugal. And I can tell you already that it is going to be a better race there. So hopefully at Portimao we can have a cracking result. Callum Ilot had a good finish finishing the race in P14. So he will be happy with that. Beating the likes of Antonio Giovinazzi, uh, George Russell, Mick Schumacher and Kimi Raikkonen and also Mazepin as well. Gazi retires after us, but we are still P9 in the Constructors standings and no improvement as well in the drivers as well. So that's going to round out today's video. If you do want to watch these videos live, then check out my Twitch. It will be the, one of the links in the description. Smash a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and of course, subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.